Hey folks, thanks for visiting Henco again and watching our videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to rebuild a flow style cylinder. For this rebuild, you're going to want to have seal installation tools typically provided by Flow and a rubber mallet. All right, let's jump in and get started. First, we're going to take our seal installation tool with the spud side, and we're going to start on the side that is flat, not concave. And we're going to use a rubber mallet, and we are going to pound out the seals. All right, and as you're going to see here, the seal kind of gets stuck in there, but you can take that out. The hoop oftentimes comes out in pieces. Uh, that's just due to the fatigue inside the cylinder over time. Next, we're going to flip that cylinder over. This time, we're going to use the opposite end of the seal installation tool, which is the flat side, uh, putting the cylinder at a slight angle and tapping the seal and the hoop out. In the center is going to be your cylinder liner. You can go ahead and uh, take that out and set that aside for the time being. All right, let's go ahead and set that cylinder aside and get into the second cylinder. Again, we're going to fast forward for, through this, but uh, we're repeating the same steps. All right, remember again to start on the flat side of the cylinder using the sputted side of the tool. When you flip it over, make sure that the cylinder liner stays inside using the flat side of the tool and holding the cylinder at a slight angle until that seal and hoop pop out. All right, we've now got two disassembled cylinders. Uh, the next important steps are going to be to clean these up. As you can see, there's blue goop, there's burnt blue goop all around the edges. To start cleaning the cylinders, we like to start with a nice clean area using a piece of scotch brite or emery cloth. Uh, start on whichever side of the cylinder you'd like. I prefer starting on the flat side. And you can see we're scrubbing quite vigorously here uh, to get some of that blue goop off and any other of the marks that have been uh, left behind during use. All right, just you know, continue to uh, take a look at that surface, uh, brush and debris away, and it should uh, have a you know fairly nice look and finish by the time you're done. Flip it over and go ahead and start on that other side and uh, clean it to the best of your ability. Once you're done cleaning the uh, top and bottom surfaces, you're going to want to clean your area and get ready to uh, clean the ID of the cylinder next. For cleaning the ID of the cylinder, you're going to want a flat surface and two pieces, uh, smaller pieces, and you'll see what works for you uh, after a while. Um, but basically you are going to fold them and get them uh, so that you can have your thumb on the edge of the emery cloth uh, and insert them into the ID. And basically we call this roll lapping. You want to push down on the ID and roll that cylinder back and forth. And basically what we're trying to do is make radial grooves inside that cylinder and clean up any area from use. Once we're done roll lapping the cylinder, we're going to want to take some paper towel or shop cloth. I like to use a wooden dowel or something that's not going to hurt the ID of the cylinder and go ahead and push a tight cloth through the ID, picking up any uh, debris that we may have uh, you know, gotten clean uh, during the roll lapping. Again, important to make sure that uh, we have that cylinder uh, as clean as possible. It's important to do this to both cylinders, uh, get them both clean and then we can move on to the next step, which is going to be assembling uh, the high-pressure cylinders with the seals and hoops. All right, let's jump in and get started. Here you're going to see a typical high-pressure seal kit. This one's from Henco. We got the bronze backups, the high-pressure seals with the red O-rings, and the hoop. You'll see the Henco seals are a gray. Uh, and along with our kits, we do send out some high-pressure grease. When doing the high-pressure seals, I like to make sure that I have a nice, clean work surface. My hands are clean. Uh, let's make sure that we have all of our tools and everything we need to get started. Again, we're going to start with the flat side of the cylinder facing up. We're going to take the retainer ring and thread that onto the cylinder, as you see here. And then once you've got that uh, completely down, we're going to go ahead and take apart our high-pressure seal here with the O-ring and utilize some of our high-pressure grease. Uh, it's a high-vacuum grease. Uh, get a liberal amount on your fingers, and again, we're going to slide that O-ring through our fingers with the grease, making sure that we get a grease on every part of the high-pressure ring. Once we're done with the O-ring, we want to make sure that the O-ring gets put back on the seal, and then we're going to take the sleeve uh, tool and insert that into the cylinder, making sure that the flat side faces down towards the face of the cylinder, and the side with the taper faces up. 
We're going to use a two finger approach here as you see here and push that seal as far down as we can at which point we're going to have to use the seal installation tool with the flat side and go ahead and push that down uh, and you'll feel that bottom out inside the cylinder. Next we're going to take the hoop and the hoop you'll see has a sharp side and a flat side. We want that sharp side to be facing down towards the seal and again we're going to use that two finger approach push that down as far as we can and once again we want to make sure that we use the flat side of the tool. Now we're going to use the rubber mallet and give it one good whack and that should seat our high pressure seal. Let's see how we did. Looks good, everything looks flat. Alright, at this point we're going to go ahead and unthread the retaining cap and we are going to inspect our job here making sure that that hoop and the seal are perfectly flush to the flat face of the cylinder. At this point we're ready to go ahead and flip that cylinder over and we are going to take our cylinder liner. Uh, these are symmetrical so it doesn't matter which side you put it in. Uh, being careful as to not to go ahead and push that seal out. Okay, now we're going to take the retaining ring, thread that back on just like we did on the other side and we are going to repeat the steps as we did before. Okay, let's take our sleeve and get that tightened on again. We're going to take the uh, sleeve and make sure that the flat side is facing down, taper side looking up at you. And we're going to take apart our seal, setting aside the hoop for now. We're going to lubricate our O-ring again using the two finger technique here. Uh, spinning that O-ring between your hands. And we're going to put that O-ring back on the high pressure seal. And we're going to use the two finger technique again to insert that seal o-ring facing down towards the center again getting it down as far as you can use the blunt end of the seal installation tool press gently again with the hoop sharp side facing down two fingers to get it down as far as you can and a couple good wax here make sure it seats take out the liner and see how it looks and it looks like we got this one flush all right, and again, we're going to go ahead and take that cap off and inspect our uh, complete job here and make sure that everything is flush on both sides. It looks like it is. So we're going to go ahead and set this cylinder aside. Uh, and again, you're going to do this to both cylinders to prepare for when we put the intensifier completely back together. Thanks for watching today, and this concludes the Flow High Pressure Cylinder video. Be sure to visit hencowaterjet.com for a full list of all the videos. Thanks for watching.